A very warm welcome to People's Voice. My name is Sonam Mugen. And uh, for tonight, uh, the topic for discussion is entrepreneurship, challenges and opportunities in Bhutan. Well, coming, will, uh, coming week will be celebrated as uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week and it's going to be celebrated in Bhutan as well. So I have a few entrepreneurs with me, four entrepreneurs as a guest and a few besides me with some mentors and uh, uh, you know, uh, with me as well. So let me first introduce my uh, four guests. First we have Mr. Pup Wandi and next to him is uh, Rinchen Pelzang and next to Rinchen is uh, Rinzen Somo and uh, we have Singe Jamso. Thank you for coming here. And thank you very much for joining us as well. So uh, let me straight away begin with uh, Mr. Poop Bondi. What does it exactly take for a person to become entrepreneur? Let's, uh, firstly, uh, survival. All right, survival. Uh, in a way, because we need to survive. Uh -huh. So in, uh, we are all entrepreneurs yeah. in our own way. Yeah. And secondly, uh, to Proof that you can be a part of this world uh, means social entrepreneur mm -hmm. to help others mm -hmm. by providing opportunities, employment opportunities. And thirdly, independent law. We, we want to be independent and we want to work uh, not dependent law. So this is what I feel is my personal view. La. All right, uh, Mr. Rinchen, what does it take for you to become? Uh, for me, the, uh, basically, the entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, to, uh, to be an entrepreneur, uh, uh, it depends upon the interest, and uh, as uh, Sir has cited, uh, it it also uh, um, meant for the survival, survival, uh, and uh, to deliver uh, better services to the local communities. All right. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> I would like to wish all the. Um, guest here and the uh, the one who watched the uh, show a good very good evening la mm -hmm. uh, from my side like uh, to be an entrepreneur you need to have uh, interest and passion to do the uh, become entrepreneur mm -hmm. you have to have your own idea aims for it and the vision for it and then for that aim and vision in order to fulfill that you have to you need to have focus you need to have hard work and we should be mindful and then, yes, to be an entrepreneur, it's very challenging. La. But right. uh, if you are able to put all this, uh, it is very difficult to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. But if you have all this and if you work hard, la, I would say anyone can become an entrepreneur. La. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Singe, what does it take for a person to become an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur, yeah, to me, it seems to be playing with the money. And to play with the money is very difficult. To play with the money, we have to have aims and objectives. And to fulfill that aims and objectives, we have to have good service, like excellent house wiring service like men. Mm -hmm. And 24-7 uh, door service or for emergency. Uh, entrepreneur is somewhat, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. But to me, hard working by ourselves is the must for the entrepreneur. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let me throw this question to the floor as well. So, what uh Mr. Gerard, I think I would like you to uh, comment on this. Yes, so good, 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 good evening. Uh, I've been following Loden Entrepreneur for now six years. And uh, I must say, I've learned a lot from the Loden Entrepreneur. And the four of you who are just uh, here uh, are just saying that, you know, entrepreneurs don't follow the crowd. Entrepreneurs follow their own belief. And uh, I strongly believe that there are a lot of opportunities for entrepreneurs in Bhutan, mm -hmm. and especially for social entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs 
they believe not just in competition, but also in cooperation between entrepreneurs. And if you look at what are, where are the big success, even right now, uh, many of these success are based on cooperation. You know, some of these new companies on internet and all that, they are not based just on competition. They are also based on cooperation. And I think there is a lot to do to promote social entrepreneurship in Bhutan. And I strongly believe there are a lot of, of opportunities. All right. Mr. Gerard, I have seen you lecturing many aspiring entrepreneurs of the country several, uh, on several occasions. And I want you to tell me, if I want to become an entrepreneur, what do I have to have? You have to have the passion. Uh, you have to know that this is not going to be an easy journey. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to uh, also uh, be flexible enough right. to, at the same time, follow your passion, but also be flexible, because maybe your first idea is not the good idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe your first idea, when you are starting to put it in practice, you discover many problems. Right. So you have to find another way and you have to learn from your customers. You have also to learn sometimes from your staff, the people who are working with you, mm -hmm. who sometimes have better ideas right. than you have. So I think, but the main thing is really to have the passion All right. and to have All the right. vision. Thank you very much. I think uh, uh, she wants to comment on this. So what does it take for a person to become well, uh, first of all, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to voice my views. Right. And uh, currently, I'm uh, attached with Loden Foundation. First of all, I would really like to put up a view to all the people who are watching this. Entrepreneurship, uh, basically, what you, when you think about it properly, entrepreneurship reduces a lot of dependency ratio. We people, we have a very robust, how, I don't know how you say it, but we have very small minds. We think, wait for opportunities to come. We wait for, let's say government, private organization. We wait for private organization, government organizations to clear our problems. But I, entrepreneurship culture, that's why entrepreneurship culture is supposed to be very, very essential in Bhutan. We have a lot of unemployment issues in Bhutan. I have, I'm also, uh, not a fresh graduate for sure, but I did graduate in 2008 mm -hmm. and I know how difficult the job market is. I've been there. And the uh, other thing is uh, entrepreneurship is a whole package of creativity. When you really want to do something in life and uh, of course to talk about the budget budgeting, the business proposals, when you go and take it to other people, you need to have a creative ground for other people to accept your business proposals. So for that you need to explore your creativity also. So at the, or of course, on a larger scale, it also measures our gender equality. Because we always, uh, we have a mindset saying that uh, differentiating works of men and women. It's, it's, we do not have gender equality. I will very surely say I've been living in this uh, country and we do not have gender inequality. It's because, all because of our mindset. We create gender equality and we are the people who wait for, wait, I mean, we make distinctions. We say, this job is uh, supposed to be for the men department. This is for women. And so we need to change this thing also. All right, all right. Thank yes, you. Thank you so much, sir. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Poop, having a beautiful project uh, proposal and you know, far sighted vision, is that enough for a person to start a business? Yes. I, I strongly disagree with the. Beautiful business proposal. Right. Having business proposal doesn't mean that you are a good business person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometimes this item might not be yours. Yeah. This might come from somebody else. La. So sometimes you can provide, I don't know, 100 page of business proposal, well written. La. Everything is okay. But if it doesn't come from your inner heart, and this is not your uh, <coughs> idea that which comes from your inside heart, then it's not, uh, it, it's not everything. La. So that's why I think uh, as a service provider, what we should look into is uh, not only business proposal, but see how the person and the personality 
of this person who has put up the business, actually put up the business proposal, how he is, la, whether this idea comes from him or not. All right. So, yes, I, I think that having a beautiful business proposal doesn't mean that you are a good business person. La. We have to look the person, uh, person is uh, he, he or she. La. All right. Uh, Mr. Rinjin, what are the basic and uh, main challenges you know, that a person has to face to become a, a successful uh, entrepreneur? Uh, 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 sorry uh, for not being able to wish all the previous uh, viewers. It's and, okay. Uh, 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 tomorrow being the World uh, Entrepreneurship uh, Day, I wish very uh, best of luck. Uh, for all the uh, entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs, all right. uh, <coughs> uh, although it is uh, supposed uh, to uh, present by my wife, Ms. Sang Chiki, the uh, it's okay, it's okay, Mr. Uh, but just just do do try some uh, um, what does it, you know, What are the main <laughs> challenges that a person yeah. has to face to become a successful? Uh, in order to uh, uh, be a successful entrepreneur. Uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, the main. Uh, I forgot your challenges. Question. I the think challenges. you can you can think about it. Uh, meanwhile, I'll, let me pass this question to Rinzen. <coughs> challenges faced by entrepreneurs. And thank you for the question. Um, yes, entrepreneur is a ch uh, challenging job. You need to be uh, t uh, thinking 24 hours, day and night. Um, you need to think about uh, uh, about the business that you are running, how you are going to do it, who is your customer, how to deal with the customer, who is your supplier, how to be with the, uh, with the supplier, and then your labor, mm -hmm. how are you going to uh, give them a, a good opportunity as a labor, right. how, uh, how are we being, um, as, as you as a founder or as a CEO or as a manager, how are you, are you doing better? Or, uh, or is there anything that I'm lacking of? Mm -hmm. There are lots of things mm -hmm. like, um, uh, and then uh, as, uh, on, as an entrepreneur, like not only your own business, now you have to survive in the market, la, in, the, um, in the market, how to be competent with, how to serve better for the people. Mm -hmm. is, my, is my business idea a social, a social one? Is it going uh, with the, um, uh, environment is it good for environment is it good for the people that i'm serving them there are lots and lots of things that you have to think and uh, as a job uh, in a job uh, like you need to think for a uh, one and two hour how to do it next day plan plan for one and two hours but right. as an entrepreneur you have to think 24 hours and then you are you have to see from 360 degrees la, mm -hmm. what to, uh, you from your own point of view as your business from a customer point of view from a supplier point of view from government point of view lots la, and then to be an entrepreneur it's challenging but um, you feel happy la. after all this hard work you feel so happy because you're not only helping yourself you're yeah. helping the people who are with you we are serving the people for example, when I uh, print prayer flag, I'm not only helping myself. Yes, of course, first myself, then the people yeah. with the go good qualities, then my levels. I'm happy right now. I have five people, but I'm happy like I have given them a life. I'm supporting their family in the, um, doing this business. So cha it is challenging, but uh, only thing that you need to know is from a challenge, from a mistake that you, you make lots of mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. You should be... Making mistake, then only we learn. Right. I would say, like, I, I didn't make mistake. I wouldn't say, like, I've made lots of mistake, and I'm Corrected. learning. The main thing right. is you need to learn from it and accept the challenge. All right, Thank Mr. you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Singh. Yeah. Challenges. A lot of challenges mentioned by uh, Rinzin, but uh, I believe uh, you all also face many other challenges, especially competing. competing uh, competing with other other entrepreneurs and especially from other countries you know as an entrepreneur there's lots of difficulties and lots of obstacles to face and to me as an entrepreneur we are people but i wish if we are all books we can read it we can know everybody that's why i I used to say there is lots of obstacles. Mm -hmm. as, as I uh, mentioned earlier in the conversation, 
there is a uh, uh, lo lot of competitors like in service people taking parts in part time works all right uh, and the foreign la uh, laborers not doing their works in proper location they are uh, uh, i mean they are doing where else and so if the government could help in such a situation people like me i don't feel shy saying myself as a technician to promote a technician and a blue card job if all the public and the government could help us we can solve rupee crisis i'm feeling proud of proud to say that we can solve the rupee crisis instead of sending the rupee down we can give our money out here only <coughs> why don't you give uh 10 bucks to me instead of giving five bucks to them uh suppose we are all in the in the same family mm -hmm. i feel proud yeah, yeah. when you are doing well so i would like to uh request all the viewers to think properly properly <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you wanted to contribute on this. Okay, all right. Uh, introduce yourself as well. Yes, my name is Huang An Tai Li, and I represent an organisation called the Prince's Youth Business International, which is based in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, we are represented in 43 countries, and the Loden Foundation is our representative in Bhutan. Um, all of our organisations believe in three things: um, access to finance, um, business support to or business training. and volunteer business mentoring because entrepreneurship um can be a very lonely journey it can be exciting but it can be also very daunting and very challenging so what we um are trying to promote is for the volunteer business community um to support young entrepreneurs to start and grow their own businesses um we are looking for people who are role models who can inspire young entrepreneurs and can help them um uh, with the obstacles and the challenges that you are describing on this panel uh, and that is why i am here this week to support the loden foundation to train uh business mentors to help the next generation of entrepreneurs within bhutan so i would urge you if you have any business experience to to come along to the loden foundation and offer your time because a lot of young people are waiting for your support thank you all right thank you very much um uh, mr poop is entrepreneurship in bhutan an answer to rupee crisis as uh, mr uh, singh just mentioned and also to unemployment uh definitely yes la if you look into the construction uh sites la there are hundreds and thousands of laborers there we are importing from our neighbor country india la and uh, uh so if looking into this i think the young entrepreneurs will definitely solve the problem uh rupee crisis la right. around the millions of uh rupee mm -hmm. goes back to india la mm -hmm. by importing laborers not only the laborers but importing materials resources la so if you look into these things yes definitely our we And, are sent uh, do we have a proper policy in hand you know to help address all these issues uh in terms of policy i'm not sure what kind of policy because i haven't gone through all the policies all of right. government but, la but uh, you must but have felt it yes but it there's something there's some problem la it seems all right uh so to solve this problem i think uh government uh really had to look into this matter mm -hmm. uh and uh as a entrepreneur but our the local entrepreneurs or bhutanese entrepreneurs i think it's promoting our own entrepreneurs is very important by promoting our local entrepreneurs i think uh with this we will create lots of job opportunities mm -hmm. and uh, and then also there are lots of uh, entrepreneurs who has creative ideas yeah who has the capacity to even export things la 
So if you, if you support these entrepreneurs, I'm sure we will, I think, at least uh, within maybe five, ten years, I'm sure we will cut down maybe 50 percent of our uh, unemployment Imports. unemployment problems yeah, right. la. and also the rupee, uh, rupee crisis la. all right thank yes. you thank you uh Rinzin, i would like to come you i mean uh, uh, you to have a comment on this um, entrepreneurship will it will it also help reduce import of goods and services from elsewhere uh, thank you for the question yes la. i would definitely say yes because um uh, the entrepreneurs, uh, the entrepreneurs here are, are, are all with the new ideas, uh, with, the, uh, with these ideas. They are pro they, when the entrepreneur is in Bhutan, they are producing the products in Bhutan. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, it's natural. Like, till now, we don't have any much, pro um, not much uh, products in Bhutan, which is produced in Bhutan. Yeah. Now the uh, uh, entrepreneurs, the new entrepreneurs with uh, new idea, with new technology, with the help from the other countries. Uh, for example, like uh, here, the Girard, and uh, we get support, we get mentors from London. And then with this help, with, our, with the ideas from the new entrepreneurs and from their support, if we're able, able to produce a product in Bhutan, why not can we uh, stop this? But this cannot be done alone by me, mm -hmm. or this cannot be done alone by Lodin. Yes, Lodin gives us support, and we uh, try to do our own part. But here it should be understood by the Bhutanese people, Bhutanese people as a whole, government, everybody. If everybody put their hand together, yes, definitely, the entrepreneurs can help to stop the export. Import. Yeah, All right. That's what I would like to say here. All right, uh, Mr. Singh. Do you think uh, government is doing enough, especially in promoting entrepreneurship in our country? Mm, I think government is doing, but... You can be honest here. <laughs> but, all right. But we cannot see the behind, behind the wall. Yeah. So I cannot exactly say right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, like All right. Um, um, uh, yes, uh, there are a lo lot, a uh, lot of help provided by government, but like still, uh, there are some areas that government can look into mm -hmm. in order to help the young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. not the entrepreneurs which are already settled, which are big. Yeah. They don't, they, I'm sure they may, they may need help, but not as much as we, the young entrepreneur, new one, mm -hmm. with the. Uh, uh, less experience, and at the same time, like uh, the entrepreneur have an idea and they have a passion. And now, uh, in order to follow the rules of government, like we need to, in order just to get a license, for example, we need to run up and down. For example, me, I almost took six months to get a license for perfect printing. Mm. And if, okay, like uh, I tried my level best and I got it. And I want to say the people, try your best. And I want to say government that please make it uh, uh, very easy or for the entrepreneurs to get it so that mm -hmm. if somebody who have a, who, whose mind is a small one may just uh, step back, oh, it's very hard, Give and then the they, they idea may just get uh, yeah, dissolved. Yeah. And that's a very sad, I would say that could be a sad part for uh, Bhutan. So right. in order to promote that, yes, there is a lot of place where government can look into. All right, all right. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Rinchin, I would like to I mean, comment on this. Is government doing enough? to promote uh, as per my knowledge uh, I, uh, I think the government is supporting because uh, the go uh, government is mainly focusing on the development of economic mm -hmm. uh, 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 from uh, from my ex uh, small experience uh, I, I have seen the uh, government is supporting in issuing the license and uh, by looking in three dimensional ways mm -hmm. uh, for uh, looking for whether it is uh, uh, environment friendly mm -hmm whether it is socially benefiting the uh, Bhutanese people mm -hmm. or in the, uh, in the broader mind uh, uh, as a whole, about especially the, uh, the government is uh, focusing on the, uh, whether it is uh, uh, environment friendly. Uh, because uh, for me, uh, 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 agriculture business uh, is a seasonal based uh, business mm -hmm. Uh, it is uh, different from other business, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 especially to get uh, uh, levers uh, because uh, they feel uh, very low, uh, and uh, 
uh, Bunis never, uh, young youth, especially young youth, don't want to uh, work in the farm. And uh, uh, during that time, uh, when the uh, government increases the labor wages, mm -hmm. uh, when the market get price is uh, uh, exceeding the uh, uh, exceeding the, the uh, for an example, if we pay 300 per day to the labor, if the uh, um, uh, the produce from the agriculture farm is selling at at the rate of 200, uh, at, at the, the, this uh, 100 100 uh, nultum gap, we face uh, we face especially the labor challenges. All right. And, uh, <coughs> All right, uh, Mr. Poop, uh, I would like to uh, also I mean uh, I mean uh, same field. What about the financial institutions in the country? Are they being helpful? Uh, I, I think in some way, yes, they are helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't, I don't know, but there are, it seems, lots of uh, formalities All issues. Right. All right. Uh, most of the entrepreneurs that we, uh, we see uh, most of the time saying about uh, uh, access to financial institutes, uh, is the formalities are very difficult. Uh, sometimes you need to have a, uh, you need to have collateral, and for instance, like uh, 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 most of our entrepreneurs, uh, they may be coming from a uh, far rural place, uh, yeah. and they don't have a uh, maybe property, uh, enough properties to equivalent uh, put, uh, yeah, property. Yes, uh, to put as a collateral mm -hmm. for the uh, uh, banks uh, yeah. and institutes, financial institutes. So in this case, uh, this these things. I think they should look into this kind of things and then maybe make it more easier for our formulators, easier so that our young entrepreneurs, creative entrepreneurs who have very good ideas can access to uh, fin uh, financial support. Right. Uh, in this way, maybe we may be able to promote uh, our loss of our social entrepreneurs. All right. Yes. Mr. Gerard, uh, Loden Foundation, when they give uh, loans to the entrepreneurs, you don't take interest. And uh, to do that seems quite uh, risky, you know. I mean, what if they fail? So what, how, how do you ensure that uh, these people success and then, you know, they don't really fail? Yes. A lot of people think that we are crazy uh, because uh, why, why are we doing that? Yeah. Uh, we are doing that because uh, we are a social entrepreneur ourselves, so our purpose is not to make money. Uh, but when we started, uh, we thought that we would lose a lot of money mm -hmm. because very few entrepreneurs maybe would ever repay the money. And the good news has been that, in fact, most of our entrepreneurs have repaid, yeah. are, are repaying. Mm -hmm. The level of repayment is far exceeding our expectation. All right. And I think this is an indication that uh, entrepreneurs, when they are successful, uh, they, they, they feel a commitment to repay. And some of them have even repaid, even when their business that we help at the beginning has not been very successful. But they had another business, and they are repaid from the other business, which I think is really remarkable. Uh, I just also wanted maybe to comment on your previous question, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was, uh, are, is the government doing enough? Are the financial institutions doing enough? Uh, I, I have no comment to do on that, mm -hmm. but I have a comment on the fact that it's also the role of the Bhutanese customers to promote product made in Bhutan. Tomorrow we are showing a film yeah. uh, which is called Made in Bhutan mm -hmm. and which tells the story about a number of Bhutanese entrepreneurs who are role models. And a word is, uh, is often pronounced by this entrepreneur. It's pride. They are proud of being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the customers in Bhutan should feel also some pride in buying a product that they know is made in Bhutan, mm -hmm. even if they have to pay a little more. Because it's there should be this feeling, I buy something which is made in Bhutan or I buy a product which is local and I'm helping my community. All right. All right. So be nationalist. Be in this sense. All yes. right. In all this right. sense, I all think right. this is the good nationalism. All right. Thank you. Uh, I, want, I want you to I mean, comment on this. I mean, maybe 
One of the success uh, secret to entrepreneurship is constant uh, mentoring, mm -hmm. which uh, in Lorden Foundation's case is there, but uh, not in all the entrepreneurship in Bhutan. So, would you like to I mean, say something on this? Yeah, I, I would urge those who are starting out in business to look for others in the community who they can go to for support and guidance. I'm not sure if the government provides support services to entrepreneurs, but always go to your local government services and ask if there is support for your local uh, entrepreneurs and, and for your business, because there may be more support out there than you know about. And if you don't look beyond your, your own sort of boundaries, then you won't understand w what is out there to support you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Singh, we, I mean, uh, are your customers being nationalist and taking pride in buying local products, you know, produced by local entrepreneurs? <clears throat> yes, I'm an electrician. I don't uh, produce. All right. Uh, then let me pass the question to Rinzen. <laughs> Thank you. I was expecting this question. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, um, about uh, my. Um, uh, it's uh, in order to make the customer be pride in to buy your product, it's 50% uh, your duty to uh, let them understand what is the difference that it is, what is your product. It's, uh, um, yes, the, uh, the customer also need to have pride, but like, uh, at the same time, you should be convincing enough to convince the customer that it is made in Bhutan, mm -hmm. and the difference between your product that you produce in Bhutan and the product that comes out uh, from the India. Like now, uh, most of the, as they are also in a business line, they mostly opt for prof, uh, profit. So like they directly ask for the, um, ask for the money or All the right. cost. Mm -hmm. But here I tend to, exp I'm, I tend to make myself very clear. Mm -hmm. Yes, a price is a little bit high, but the reason behind the high prices are, mm -hmm. I list down all and the... And basically you also try and advocate on your own products. Yeah, and all then right. uh, I used to give all the advantages of not only being in, made in Bhutan, mm -hmm. but comparing the difference. Mm -hmm. If uh, I would say like, uh, if the product that I produce is much better, then why they should go for them? It All is right. beneficial for them as well as me. And, and I literally request them. I'm, I, will pro I will try to help. I'll try my level best to serve you. Please help me to grow. That's what I tell to my customers all, all the right. time when I go for marketing. All right. What about fis uh, fiscal incentives like tax, uh, tax holidays? You know, do, we, do we get this? Uh, I don't know, like for example, in media institutes, they get kind of <laughs> tax uh, things. But uh, as entrepreneurs, I, I'm, not a, I'm not running a business, so I have never filed actually tax. Right. So I don't know whether uh, tax holidays do we get or not. But I don't think that as a, you're doing a business, you really get a, I think as soon as you start your business, from, if you start your business from January on, by end of this year, I think, you will have to file the tax whether you make a profit or not. So I, for my point of view, my personal view, I don't think that there is a tax holiday for the, <laughs> our young entrepreneurs or those who are doing business. Mr. Singh, do you think there is a fiscal incentive, especially, you know, in tax, you know, do you get tax holidays? And do you need it? Um, this question is very difficult for me. <laughs> Even then, I will try to taxation, uh, business, and for for entrepreneur, is always ups and down. Yeah. Well, our friends might be knowing that. Once I I was gone down, now I'm trying to pull pull my stocks up. For that, I think government should look. How we can prove this again? Government, the uh, government service people, they, they will never know how I have went down there. All right. This depends upon the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur means which we, that the boneless tongue can twist very well. But we have to think. <laughs> and for this, we have to uh, give a written, writ, uh, in written, and we have to explain our. Why we need 
tax exam, uh, tax exemption. I think uh, government is looking for that. I think. All right, Mr. Rinche, what do you think? For me, the, uh, it depends upon the uh, volume of the, uh, the uh, business. Business, because uh, for us, like a small scale business holder, uh, 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 as per my experience, I think uh, government has levy tax. Uh, as per the norms and rules and regulations uh, of revenue and custom. Uh, from, uh, from some of the, my friends, uh, some of colleagues like uh, who runs the business, uh, like uh, me, uh, they, they used to say that they're saying that government uh, just uh, read out the, the how much investment they have uh, invested in the, to establish a farm or establish or just to initiate mm -hmm. uh, a business. Uh, but from my point of view, uh, if government could uh, look in the reality and if they could do a physical verification whether uh, th this, uh, the concern the entrepreneurs is really getting a profit or loss or running a loss, uh, if they could consider and j just do a, phys a physical verification uh, in the spot. And uh, they have, or they have to also consider uh, if uh, uh, the concerned entrepreneur is uh, running a losses. All right. Rinzi. Thank you. Once again, like um, tax, um, I, at present, no, I don't, uh, I'm paying the tax and the, my, main, uh, my main cost driver in my product is cotton and I'm paying 5% tax over it. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, really making me difficult to compete with the Indians mm -hmm. because uh, they don't pay the tax. Mm -hmm. And even the prayer flags, uh, if the, uh, I'm not sure the Buddhist people are paying tax for prayer flag. Even mm -hmm. if, if they are doing, the Buddhists are paying the tax, not the Indians. Right. So uh, how can I compete paying tax with the Indian not paying tax? Right. And if uh, I would be really grateful if government could look into not only my, pro my product, in all the entrepreneurs who try to make it in mm -hmm. Bhutan, yeah. if these things, if uh, just lowering the tax, if we could compete with the Indian market, I would, I would, I would be really happy or I would be really proud to be a uh, Bhutanese entrepreneur competing with the Indian products. Uh, so this, uh, uh, not only, okay, this is a, a one of the uh, places where I could wise out, like, okay, government could lower the, uh, uh, tax or like not lower or like uh, can exam tax for some years so that right. I can be more um, established. Yeah, established. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess uh, a lot has been has been done and again a lot has to be done on this to promote uh, entrepreneurship in Bhutan. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's a good night from me. Sonam Genma.